Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,363. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,363 finished, or the start file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a very specific video here. We want to see how to get images into PowerView from a web URL that's stored in the Power Pivot data model. Now, PowerView is something that I never use. And really, if we're going to be using visualizations, the real tool we should be using is Power BI Desktop. But let's check this out. Here on the product's price sheet, I simply want this in Excel. I want some pictures of the various products with the name and the price. And if I filter it by the company, I want the pictures to change. So let's see how to do this. Now this is the finished file. Let's go over to the start file. Now here's our product table. We have product ID, product name, price, and some other data, including company ID. We actually have pictures stored online, and we need the address for each one of those pictures in our table. We will then import it into the Power Pivot data model. Make sure that the column is stored as the data category image URL, and then we'll open up Power View. Now let's first go look at our website. This is the link below the video that you can click on. If you go down to the section for Excel Magic 1,363, there's a page. If I click on that, there's our list of pictures. If I click, you can see the picture. There's yet another picture and back. Now I want to copy one of these. So I'm going to click on the Aspen. That one's specifically for Aspen. But I click up in the URL, Control-C to copy. Let's go back over to Excel. Now in the picture website URL column, I'm going to hit the F2 key to put it in edit mode, Control-V. Now if I copy this down, it's not going to work because this one's just for Aspen. But let's notice something. Here's a column with our product names. And these product names are exactly the same as in the web address. So we're going to make a formula from this text item. I click before the H, equal sign, double quotes. I'm going to put a double quote at the end. Now I need to highlight Aspen, just the product name, and type double quote, ampersand, ampersand, and double quote. And now I'm very carefully going to click right between the two ampersands and click on this relative cell reference product name. That formula will work. When I hit Enter, it's copied all the way down because this is an Excel table. Now, this, if I click inside the table and go up to Design, I've already named it D Products. Now, we're going to need to put this into the data model using Power Pivot. Power Pivot only comes in very specific versions. There's a list of the Excel versions. Now over in the Power Pivot ribbon tab in the Tables group, I'm going to click on Add this to the data model. There's our table. You can see the D product name. That linked means this table is linked. There's our table. Double click to expand the column. And the trick is this column has to be a very specific data category. I select it, go over to Advanced, Reporting Properties Group, and there it is, Data Category. I click the drop down and check that out. It totally suggested the right data category, Image URL. That way, that way Power View will understand that this is an image to go and retrieve. By the way, this same feature we'll see in our next video is available in Power BI Desktop. Now, I want to do one thing. I want these retail dollar amounts to show up over in Power View with currency format. So I select the column, Home. And in the Format dropdown, I'm not going to use General. I'm going to use Currency. Now I'm going to Control-S, which will jump me back over to Excel. Now, turn on Power View. Guess what? Power View is not used as often anymore because Power BI Desktop really is the tool that replaced it. If you want to see how to turn this on, you can watch that video. And then it will show up in the Insert Ribbon tab, Power View. And I'm going to click on Power View. 
Now, this will have a field list similar to a pivot table or Power BI desktop. Look at that. It checked all of these. I'm going to uncheck. Now, we can tell that table right there is from the data model because it has that dark line indicating the field names at the top. Now, I want to check product name, suggested retail, and the picture web URL. I'm going to come up and enable. I immediately want to come up to the table drop down and say card. Come down to the bottom and click and drag. Now I'm going to try and select this. And notice if I click off to the side and I see that I click and it's all blue, that means I can click and drag it to the center. Now I want to come up to the top click and I'm going to give it a title. Product prices by company. Now I'd like to add a filter so I can filter by company. So I come over to ID dash com and click and drag into the filters. I can select just a particular company ID. And there it is. Uncheck, select the next one. Boom, there's my specialty kites. Click the next one. Here are my yo-yos. Here are my devil sticks and juggling items. Uncheck, and there are the gel boomerangs. And lastly, I'll come down here, double click, and call this product prices, and enter. All right, that was a video about how to put images in Power View from a web URL stored in a Power Pivot data model. Next video, we'll see how to do this in Power BI Desktop. And the video after that, we'll have a bigger, more comprehensive data model problem that includes images. All right, we'll see you next video.